Good day, learners. We are now starting our June exam prep. This is going to be the first of a series of videos where I'm going to be looking at the 2023-2024 papers, both the IEB and the DBE, to give you a well-rounded um, preparation towards getting the beautiful marks that I know you can get in your June exams. So here you can see I've got the DBE folders mm -hmm. and uh, the IEB. So we're going to look today at question one. And we want to see over the last few years what the trends have been to see what we could expect. Question one in the June PRAC for 2025. So let's go through here. Let's go to 2023. And I just want to take this out of my screen quickly. Um, and let's open this one up. Okay, so that's just the tag sheet. Please remember, for all the pracs, you know you're going to get these tag sheets, right? So that's fine. <clears throat> okay. In 2023, look what we had for question one. Now, I'm not even worried about the scenario, whatever the scenario is. Look what we had. We had things like screenshots okay so inserting a screenshot into a different document and you can see with question one usually what happens is this um, when you go into question one you've got all these different files and folders and they ask all the questions based on this now if you look at what they have asked before they've asked us to take a screenshot of certain things and what do they want a screenshot of showing a file name extension so what they're actually saying here, and I just want to open this, is for example, to go into a folder and to change the view to show certain things like file extensions and hidden items to also sort the data and group it, right? So those are typical things that, that come up. There we've got determining the author. And as I mentioned, grouping the contents of a window according to size sorting the contents, taking a screenshot again of the sorted content. So yeah, we're grouping it, sorting it, and then taking a screenshot of it, and then putting it into that other document. What else? They want the file size, adjusting the properties of a file. So go into our properties, adding attributes over here. Making a file hidden or unhidden protecting it with a password, deleting files, compressing folders, and then I'll copy and cut, you know, copying images into a folder or moving things, which is basically cutting. All right. So that was, I'm just going to move this to the side. That was 2023. Okay. Now let's have a look at 2024 to see if there's anything major that was different let me just get this paper out here and we're going to have a look again right question one name and surname in the header locate all word processing files in question one then take a screenshot do we see that again a screenshot and put that screenshot into this file Another one, um, give instructions on how you view the computer screen resolution. So you've got to type out an answer, then take a screenshot and paste that into the relevant location. Okay, does that sound familiar? Yes, it does. Yeah, add your name and surname as an author. <laughs> We've seen that before. Without opening the file, determine the default file, uh, default application. So, for example, if I were to... Go here, and I'm just going to go to this particular file, and I'm going to go properties. There you can see the default location, but here we see the default application, and that's what they're asking for. So have I opened the file? No. I just right-clicked on it, went to properties, and it shows me the default um, file, or sorry, default application that's going to be used. Okay, so here they're also asking us to add the authors column to the file explorer window. 
And sorry, I'm opening the wrong thing. Let's go somewhere else. Let's go here. And all I'm really going to do is I've got name, date modified, type and size. I'm just going to right click next to it and add authors. Like that's it. Okay. Let's see what else they wanted. Create a new folder, locate a file and delete it. Convert a file to a PDF. So remember when we are converting, what are we actually doing? We are going file, save as, and we're going to change the save as type okay so that's really what we are doing just watch out for that word in grade 12s and then we want to com compress a file or folder so again remember what are we going to do we're going to right click on it we're going to go compress to and we can say compress to zip file And then the last one, they wanted us to rename a folder. So can you see the similarities between 2023 and 2024? So you know now, based on this, what the trends are and what you can expect from the file and folder management sections or questions in your June prac. So let's just quickly go over uh, the last question because my strategy for you is this. When you start your prac, start with file and folder management because let's be honest, this is an easy 20 marks that we can get, that everyone based on the skills they have from grade 10, 11, and 12 can get the full 20 marks. And then the next one we're going to jump to, and I'm going to go all the way to the bottom since I am here in the 2024 paper, we're going to go over to HTML. So let's just see where I am. Yeah, here we go. So here's HTML from 2024. Now let's see what they're asking us. And, and bear in mind, all you would have done for HTML this year would have been tables. Okay? So, let's see what the trends are. Number one, ensure your name and cinema appear in the tab of the web browser. In other words, the title. Right? So, they're asking us to do the title. They're asking us to change the background color. They're asking us to insert an image. Now, here's the trick here. It's found in the images subfolder. So, just watch how you do that. Um, I've got videos on how to check that subfolder, then modify the heading to the font style and the font size. So that's going to be that font face um, and our font size. An attempt was made to make a bulleted list. So you need to sort out the bullet list to square bullets. Remember that's where we go type equals square and then locate the text. Click here to our sponsors near the bottom and create a hyperlink. I mean, really guys, that's that's not much that they're asking you to do. Um, they continue here with a table. This is exactly what I said to you. This is what we do this year. Modify the table and the border. Insert an image. Insert the table header as well. So um, you're going to use things like row span, call span, inserting text, inserting an image. But that's how you get your 20 marks. So I'm going to show you 2023 and then I'm going to reiterate what I've said before about the strategy where we are going to be looking at how to, let me just get 2023, how to get the most out of your time, the most marks out of your time. So let's go down to this one. This is 2023. So they tell you what it should look like. Oh, have a look at this. Big surprise. A title. Right? They're asking to do a title. Big surprise. 2023. Background color. Okay? Here we go. Inserting a horizontal line they want us to change the words welcome to the great as follows displayed in the middle of the page so it's just again aligning text okay add tags um, to the text lagoons and coordinates um, the titles of the first two columns on the table so we're dealing with our columns make it span across 13 rows so this is making changes to a table this one that we can see over here change a bulleted list, and create a hyperlink. Folks, that's almost almost identical to what we saw in 2024. So do you think we're going to get a table in 2025? Yes. Do you think we're going to be asked to change the title, maybe put in a horizontal line, things like that, based on the trends that we are seeing? Yes. And so I say again to you, 
my strategy, and you don't have to adopt it, but my strategy would be based on time. Start with question one, then shoot over to HTML so that you know that's the first 40 marks of your prac. It's done, and you've got time to spare, which you can plow into things like Excel or database as well, because Word, we should be okay with that. But that's going to be another video. Now, let's just take a look quickly at how different the DBE paper is from the IAB. And again, this is also for DBE learners. So when I go into the 2023 PRAC, and that was for June, let's bring that over. You'll see that in the questions here, while you've got, you know, Word, Excel, database, there's Word, question one, two is Word, then we've got spreadsheets, database, and instead, and well, of course, HTML, but instead of file and folder management, they've got a section that is general. And they can test a variety of skills there. So for the DBE learners, have a look at this from 2023. You can see here, they've got a document that had a table. They wanted you to change the borders, headings, um, they wanted you to look at calculations as well and some formatting changes inside the table. Then in a spreadsheet, they wanted you to um, do a find and replace within your spreadsheet and arrange text into columns. Let's see what else they wanted you to do here as well. Um, use a combination of functions to determine the date in the current year. So they wanted to do that as well, and that constitutes your 15 marks. So you can see the big difference in what they are asking there compared to what we have in question one with it, IB. Let's see, I think that the same, it was the same more or less for 2024. Uh, let me just get to that paper. I think I just had the memo for that. Yeah, so let's just go all the way down again. But you can see with that section, you see here, asking you to rename a file, compress a folder, then apply a filter okay, to this particular file um, to sort some data there or filter some data, then to remove duplicates in this file and then to add the subtotal feature as well okay so learners that's just showing you the difference between uh, what we have in question one for file and folder management with the dbe uh, sorry the ib and then what the dbe has in terms of their general section but this should sort all that out and uh, all the best as you hit those questions in your cat pack paper